You know, sometimes when you communicate on like YouTube or someplace, you get email. And I've been getting email from a guy that dresses up like a terrorist. He calls himself anti terror. He sent me a little email link about the three deaths allegedly following a vaccination, which I give God is all. You know, I heard there was something vaguely. I wrote the company and I got nothing back. And it was a back of my head and I've given the vaccine and I thought it was very safe. He brought to my attention an article. And then I did a search and I found tons of articles discussing complications to the vaccine. You looked at them, didn't you? Yes. And uh, if you had a daughter or a granddaughter that was at the right age to get the vaccine and you saw all that information, would you be a little bit concerned? I would be very concerned about letting her take the Gardasol vaccination. And you, you've been watching those shows, the Today Show, what are those ads, how it's going to wipe out or reduce your risk for cervical cancer in girls. Is that true? Yeah, they had very good lab results with it. Okay, but the thing is, it's a theory. They mean to be prevent HP, you know, human papillovirus. Uh, it will cut it down by 70%. That is the, probably the major reason we get the cancer. It, it made sense. It's a theory. It's, we don't have 20 years' experience with the vaccine. And you see the big push by Merck, Shop and Dome to get it all over the country mandated. Some states are, are thinking about it. Uh, uh, some states were about to do it, and people were up and out. I don't know if I want the vaccine mandated. I want the vaccine to be a decision that a parent, giving all the good information, the bad information, the sources it come from, it's still their child. Yeah. I think they should make that decision. Yeah, the, the, the parents should be the final people making the decision. The uh, drug companies are offering the information to make you aware of it, to educate you about it. But the state should not define or uh, st uh, indicate that uh, your daughter has to have the vaccination. It should, it should be, after, after absorbing all the knowledge about the vaccine, the parent should be the one to make the final decision. And of course, discuss it with their daughter too. We, we agree that there's, there's a disease that can spread from kid to kid in school, like whooping cough or, or, or uh, some meningitis. It's a good idea that the whole group should be protected. We don't argue with that long as the vaccine has a good, safe track record. Right. Okay. But this is one that probably won't contract in high school. Right. Okay. We know that girls and boys do play around in high school, so there's a certain risk factor of getting that particular virus, which could be the reason you could get cervical cancer. But if it's mandated and a kid gets a terrible reaction, who's at fault? Who's at fault? Sue the governor? Sue the legislator? The vaccine hasn't been out long enough to get uh, the final results on the effect on humans. So in other words, we think it should be a decision, you agree with me, that, uh, not over you, with you. In other words, you as a parent, if you had a daughter, a granddaughter, you would like that decision from the, all the facts that we have, the good stuff, that maybe this is not true, maybe this, this is just isolated incidents, because there's even a concern of gillian Any Anytime you give a shot, you can get this neurological reaction where there could be some paralysis, it could be temporary, it could be permanent. It happened with the swine flu. Was about 60 cases for all that. So it's great concern. So you agree with me, it should be a parent decision with the right information given by their pediatrician or GP, and together we come to one that they can accept. And the kid's old enough, I, and some of them are already adults, it should be part of their decision too. Yeah, yeah. Um, after the fact-finding process, the, the family, the doctor, should sit down and talk things over. One of the problems that uh, people are concerned about is that the vaccination would lead to sexual promiscuity. And I, I understand that, but uh, it's not meant to be a uh, birth control device. It's, it's meant to be something but more than that. Because you, you got an attractive daughter, she goes out date with a boy, the boy does something, 
you know, she, she happened to like the boy, and he could talk almost, you know, some boys are very good. Very, you yeah. could have a terrific daughter. So it's too late then. Mm -hmm. So yeah. or they say if you give it to the younger kids, they make better antibiotics. But there's also a rumor that there's another vaccine coming that might be a little bit more effective. So I think we have to be honest with patients. And here's one time where I thought this guy was off his rocker. This, this anti-terrorist brought to my attention it hit me like a stone wall. He's against all vaccines, which I disagree with. But this is one time he did me a great service. So I'm going to give a thank you to the anti-terrorist. You know, I disagree. I'm going to push this to find out if there is any truth to the risk. Maybe it isn't. But the fact that it didn't come from my normal sources, it bothers me. I, as a doctor, should have been told this, should have been aware from CDC stuff. Maybe there was something. Maybe I missed it. I, I hope I, I didn't. But sometimes you'd miss mail. I could have. Maybe didn't check it. But that bothers me. Well, I'm sure Merck is on uh, uh, a great fact-finding mission now, and they're not sweeping the three deaths under the carpet. Uh, they they, well, they, they have to find out more. They have to. And it was funny how, how the, the three deaths... Were, um, the symptoms were similar. They were all uh, a, a cardiac blood-related deaths, uh, all, all given, all, all with the same vaccine. It's there's a link there somewhere. We don't know if it's a, a day later, a month later. It, 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 we don't one, know. One was two weeks later. One was a couple of hours later. I don't remember about the. Third. So we don't know the facts. No. And usually, a company like Merck with vaccines, I can't talk about the other divisions. Very reputable. They came with a chickenpox vaccine. It took them 17, 18 years to bring it to the market. And, and they had a little concern about one of the vaccines being contaminated. They didn't have being told by the government to take it off. They were so concerned, they initiated, took it off, check it out, you see there was any truth. Maybe there was no problem. But it showed great. Look, when the Tylenol scare came, you remember many years ago? Yes. What did the company do? They did the best thing they could ever do. It was concerned someone poisoned some of the capsules. They took the whole thing off. They took a big hit. They put seals on it. They doubled. They did everything they could do. When they put it back in the market. You knew that it was a protective seal, so someone couldn't put a phony baloney something with poison in it. And you know, the company's stronger than ever. I'm sure Merck has this uh, as one of their top priorities now. We hope so.